Here goes nothing. Interactive Corp. It's, a, it's an interesting name. I guess they make interactive things. Like, uh, like Vidya Games? They make the Vidya Games with the kids and the controllers and the pew pew and the dirty words online. Operates the media and internet company uh, worldwide. Pro offers digital marketplace services where it connects consumers with service professionals for repairing, modeling, cleaning, and landscaping solutions under the... Oh! Oh, neato! These are the people behind Home Advisor, Angie's List. Actually, I, I could have sworn Angie's List was its own company. That's actually surprising to me. I guess they might have bought Angie's List. Home Advisor, Angie's List... Andy Brands. They own a pair of Vimeo too, apparently. And Dot Dash, which I have never heard of before. Digital publishing brands. This is kind of a very interesting hodgepodge. Oh, no, wait, there's more stuff they own. Wait a minute. Provides general search company opera. Um, they have Teltech. They have care.com. I've seen commercials for that before. Blue Crew. Haven't heard of that one. Daily Beast. Nursefly. This is a random hodgepodge of stuff. What? Very interesting. I didn't know all these things were owned by one company. Huh. Also, what is the story behind this quarter four? That's a crazy margin. Well, there's no way I'm getting back that far because these articles are extremely dense. Which, I mean, which makes sense because when you're reporting articles from like six different companies, or six different uh, products. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things published in here. Ah. What would earnings be under? Would earnings be under news or press releases? Well, I guess, uh, well, I tried to narrow it down. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because these both options are still full of a lot of stuff. Okay, I've wasted three minutes talking about nothing. Um, come on, come on, come on. Show me the chart! Nice steady rise going into 2020. And then just kind of took off. I mean, like a lot of stuff. Although this this one to a ridiculous degree. As the market came roaring back, so did this. To a ridiculous degree. Um... I don't, I don't know what to make of this, really. I think monthly metrics available on IAC website. Dot Dash to participate in Cities 2021, the global thing. Launch his first double digital, digital magazine. Am I getting all these articles because they own all of these things? They own liquor.com? Is that, is that why I'm getting this? I don't see anything about that. Uh, well, I guess Dot Dash owns it, and they own Dot Dash. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just Interactive Corp all the way down, isn't it?
monthly growth has reaccelerated. You know, so I, I have noticed that after after a couple years of not seeing them on TV, I have started to see uh, a lot of Angie's List commercials. That is something that I have noticed. Did my clock get stuck? Seemed like it was stuck at, at one second there for a while, but eh, whatever. I'm not complaining. Um, I... I kind of wonder how justified that meteoric, exponential rise during the past year was. Especially with how it's kind of leveled off. And I know a lot of stuff has leveled off in the last last couple months, last half a year. But after a meteoric rise like that. And it's not just leveled off, it's been steadily going down. Not by a lot, mind you, but by some. I think I'm just gonna give it a hold. I feel like it's very it, it's it's very middle of the road. I don't I don't I don't really have a whole lot to say. I kind of don't really see good arguments for 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 buy or uh, for buy or sell. So I just gotta go with hold for that one. I think. Kind of don't really don't really have anything have anything else to say.